creative art classes with John Mark. Today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon, Baby Yoda. Hey, it's John Mark and welcome back to my series on teaching cartoon. Today's episode is on Baby Yoda. So what I'm going to be beginning with is the head and I gave the area, the crosshairs for the eyes, nose and mouth area. So I'm building the, uh, the rest of the elements, that little pod that he floats in. So what I'm doing here is just uh, creating uh, very quickly a sketch area where I'm going to be going back and getting a, bit, a little bit more detail as I've always been sharing in my video lessons. All right, so as you notice, some of the sketching that I'll be beginning with is very light, and I just randomly go here and there. It, it's not like I want to build him first or the pot first. It's whatever my eye or attention is gravitating to. Uh, and yes, I pulled some um, model sheets, or actually not model sheets so much, more of a uh, still videos of the little Yoda in his pod to create this cartoon now because I can't pull it out of my head. I need some reference. All right, so, um, so what I'm building here now is working on the pod, building the, the areas, and now let's begin on his eyes, little baby Yoda. I don't know about you, but I, I did like the series that uh, Disney put out. I thought it was really nice. And the little character was very, very sweet. Little, little baby Yoda. It's actually not the Yoda Yoda. It's his son, if I understand correctly. All right, we've got his eyes there, has his mouth there. I'm just shading in those big eyes. And uh, I will be coloring this in, uh, inking it in Illustrator and, and coloring it in Photoshop. So you're gonna see that more in depth. Okay, let's get his other eye over here. Okay, that's looking good. And I'm going to create my own little version. It's not exactly looking like uh, the Baby Yoda as a photograph. It's a cartoon. So when you're looking at your um, uh, creation or if you're creating your own, something that I haven't been sh sharing you with, it's okay if it doesn't look 100%. It's your style. So in this case, I'm just creating a version of my unique style to myself. All right, so let's work on his jaw there. Let's get the other side there. And that's why those crosshairs really help. You can really see it right now, the eyes and where the nose is just below that and the mouth. And in this case, I'm gonna be uh, building the ears, those big ears. All right, so the one ear on the right side is gonna be definitely a little longer and bigger on that side, whereas the left side ear is gonna be a little bit smaller because of perspective, he's kind of a little bit rotating more to the left view. So I'm going to make it a little smaller to give that foreshortening and that depth. In this case, because he's not looking straight at you. He's turned his head a bit. Okay, let's get his body in there. And the, uh, let's get his little jacket on there. Yeah, I remember when I first saw Yoda. I was way back in my high school time. All right, so let's work on those fingers. As you notice, what I'll always do is I'll do those little circles, those ovals, and I'll come back. If I overlap some of the stuff, it's okay. I don't come back and erase anything, those lines, uh, because when I take it into the inking stage, that pretty much will remove those secondary lines that shouldn't have been there. But other than that, uh, I think, yeah, let's get the other finger done. And here's the other one. And if incidentally, if you want to take this to the next level of penciling, this would be the first step just so that you can build your uh, drawing, your thumbnail drawing. And then from there, you can take it to another piece of paper if it's watercolor, acrylics, or color pencils to the particular papers that really work well with the, those um, mediums in a sense. Okay, so let's get that base. Now I'm coming back to the base. And getting a little bit darker there. And I work on there. It, and when I do this in Illustrator, when I ink it in, I'm actually going to be using the vector tools. And those vector tools will make it look like repitograph pens. Very accurate. So 
these um, the whole pod. I'm not too uh, care about if I'm not making it look perfect right now because in Illustrator I can really uh, define those shapes a lot better. All right, let's finish this up a little bit more. A little shading on the little side of the little joint there for the pod. Okay, work a little bit more. Let's get some more details there underneath his chin. Well, I think we're just about done with this one, so let's make sure we sign it and date it. And thanks for watching my video again. Check us out on Facebook, that's JMG Studio, and on our Instagram account, that's JMG Studio Cartoon. Oh, hey, I hope you enjoyed our video today, and make sure you hit the subscribe button because then you can see all our old videos as well as the new ones that are coming up. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.